I'm going to be looking at how to paint Orc Decajets. So this is an assembled and built Decajet that I've primed with Mephiston Red Spray from Games Workshop. I've got some Agrax Earthshade which I have cut about 50-50 with water and I've done so because I deliberately want to alter how it flows and I'm just going to brush this all over the areas that are going to end up being red and I'm doing this to get all the panel lines so as you can see it immediately darkens it down but it darkens it down most in the areas where there are panel lines and that's the effect I want so I'm going to come back and dry brush it red again but that gives me the panel lines filled in and decent shading so I'm going to leave that about 10 minutes to dry and then we'll come back for the next stage. The Agrax Earthshade wash has dried and I'm now going to use a large dry brush and a bit of Mephiston Red and I'm going to go back over all the red areas and dry brush them. So you can see quite quickly that you are just left with the panel lining. So I'm going to finish this and then come back for the first highlight of the red. We've now got some thinned down Evil Sun Scarlet which again I'm going to dry brush onto the plane. Uh, lighter this time and not as complete coverage as there was with the Mephiston Red. But you can see how that brightens that red up. and provides a first highlight. So we've got at this stage a red panel lined plane. So I'm going to come back and we're going to start doing the metal bits. With the red dry it's time to start doing one of the other colours. So the first colour that we're going to do is going to be the metal. So we find various metal bits in this case the guns and we start blocking in the metals so this will take a while because we're going to do the guns the exhausts the engine uh, this chain here because I've looked at the full scale model and that's definitely a chain so when they land they just throw out an anchor with a chain on the end to help bring them to a stop. So that, the engine, the guns, and then any little details that you find that should be metal. So we've got more exhausts here. So that should be metal as well. Uh, I'm going to do these exhausts here and this exhaust thing. I'm going to do bronze, but that should be quite a chunk of metallic detail. And you want to end up with something like this. So you've started to get some other colours down on your plane. So 
I'll come back with that finished for the next step. Next we're going to hit a few pieces with the bronze colour. So those pieces are going to be this side exhaust. these here and some little bits of the engine assembly most notably this cylinder here and I'm doing this in order to start breaking up all the silver and add more visual interest to the model. So there's also some bits in here that could do with being bronze to start. So essentially what we're doing, we're adding different colors, we're making the model more visually interesting, and we're going back and we are starting to pick up some of the details like these ammo belts. So, I'm going to finish this and come back for the next stage. At this point I'm going to apply a Nuln Oil Wash to the metal bits that I've painted on. That will add definition, make it much less bright, and then I can go back and continue to pick out details and highlight the metal. So, as you can see, these very bright engines and guns get dulled down which is the effect that you're after. And that lets you come back, highlight what you choose to, and then start adding further detail. So then we're going to start picking out some of the panels. I'm going to use some thin down Abaddon Black. I'm going to pick out a tail panel. So that's the middle tail panel. And I'm going to pick out these ridges on the wings. And I'm going to pick out this edge panel here. I've put some Wraithbone base on these uh, metal patchwork plates. I've done so so that I can apply some yellow contrast to them in order to break up all the red. So as you can see you end up with a bit more visual interest. So let's pull out a fighter bomber and you can see how adding some more colours breaks up all that red and gives you some more interest. Next I'm going to come back and do all the rivets. I'll probably do that completely off camera so that we can come back ready to do the windows. So with the rivets done and weathering added, so this is a light dry brush around the panel edges, a bit here, uh, particularly a bit around the landing gear here where it's naturally going to get all the paint scraped off it. I then take a quite bright silver and I'm going to paint the canopy. This is the first step of this and canopies are something you can paint a bunch of different ways. You can use a light blue, you can blend from blue to white, you can do a lot of different things with it. I'm going to paint it with a glaze over silver. So it should be quite shiny but with a blue tint. And I'll likely then have to go back and pick out some of these parts of the canopy structure for anything that I make a mistake with. But this is something you've got to be quite, quite careful about. But you can see the areas that I'm going to do. Uh, I have gone and done all the rivets. There are a lot of rivets on, well, in particular the fighter bombers. And I've added a bit of scrapes and battle damage as well. I've also gone back and put some black contrast paint on these pipes that I put Wraithbone on earlier. There are some pipes and wires on a lot of the planes, 
let's find one in particular this open panel here that could do with getting picked out with some detail and if you paint it a different colour it'll add a bit more visually to the model I'm also going to go back and do these rockets at some point but I want to get the basic plane done first so I'll be back in a second to put the glaze on so we're now going to apply a little bit of Gillum glaze straight from the pot onto these silver panels I may do this as two thin coats depending on the effect I get when the first glaze is dried because quite naturally pooling towards the edges but with that done and dried I'm going to gloss varnish these planes and then get ready to weather them and so this is the gloss varnish dried uh, I've put a couple of the planes on the bases that I've done so you can see this is painted to tabletop standard and it's pretty reasonable so this is a 100 point Orc Air Fleet uh, with options for a bit more for Aeronautica Imperialis. So you've got three Dacker Jets and two Fighter Bombers. Fighter Bombers are put together for anti-air, so they've got extra Dacker Guns and Rockets. Dacker Jets have got Rockets, though I've only paid points for one of them to have them. I think these are really nice models. and They go together really well and whether you're painting red or yellow or um, black and white or anything else they are a great set of minis so if you've liked this video hit like and subscribe if you want to chat leave a comment below but otherwise good gaming